my job. Amen. That's my job. Amen. Your job is to get the money if you're a missionary. Right. So you can go in the jails, you can go in the prisons. Don't get thrown out. Right. Your job ain't to preach upon the Catholics. Right. Why are you going to do that? So you can get thrown out? So he's going to try you. You know what you do when you fail? Try again. Amen. Thou brought us into the net. Thou laidest affliction upon our loins. Who did this? God did it. He gave you afflictions. Nobody enjoys afflictions. Nobody likes to be caught up in the net. You ever seen a fish in a net? They all struggle to get out of the net. Every one of them. What do you do? He's trying you. He's going to see what you're going to do. Right. Some people never learn. They just never learn. They're going to do whatever they want to do. Hip self. Amen. So you know what God says? I'll just bring you some more affliction. I'll bring you, you know, make you go through the silver and Try you a little bit more. Thou has caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire, through water, but thou brought us out into a wealthy place. How about that? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. We lived in that old shack. We were so proud of it, it had no roof. You remember that, David? Amen. He didn't even have a roof. He had felt paper. My daddy came and raised it that high. I said, you need about that much more to be level. He said, but I ain't doing no more. And he raised it. He busted every window. The bathtub fell in. We had to pick the bathtub back up, change all the glass, put a roof on. We put a new air conditioning system in there. That still didn't work. It was still hot in the summer. You know why? It was made in 1932. Amen. There was no insulation. Amen. I, Fred, I felt like Fred Flintstone, you know. Amen. I was living in a cave. It got cold in the winter. And Brother Dalrymple said, I'll tell you what you need to do. I knew I was in trouble, Amy. So you know what your problem is? I said, oh, God, here it is. He's going to tell me what my problem is. He says, you give everything away. He said, why don't you buy your wife a nice car, nice vehicle? Why don't you buy you a house? Everybody comes over here, bums off of you. They all want to come over here. They want. They think you're a gas station. They think you're a H E B. They think you're, a hey man. They're always wanting something, and they're bothering your wife while you're at work or you're off at some meeting. She doesn't even feel safe. So why don't you give your wife some safety? I said, well, preacher, I would, but my offerings would drop. I'm trying to finish that building, and I'm trying to get you know. I want to see this done and that done, and he said. He said, forget about all that. He said, you'll give twice as much. You'll give twice as much if you'll buy your wife a house and buy your wife a car. So the first year I tried, my credit wouldn't pass. Second year came, now I live in a five-bedroom, two-story house, fireplace, heated pool, got a billiard table upstairs, God, I can't even count how many cars we got. Amen. God is good, man. Seth's got a Dodge, a Magnum. Susie's got a car. I got a pickup. I got a, I got a Challenger. I, and my wife's got a 2013 uh, Suburban. Hallelujah. Amen. Have you seen my ring? 35 years of marriage. Wife bought it for me. You said, what happened? 
I know what he's talking about when he says a wealthy place. See, I had to go through all that affliction. I had to be tried. I had to go through all that. Here's a $350,000 home, and the guy goes, oh, we go on $219,000. I said, my budget's one sixty-eight. That's all they'll lend me. He said, we'll take it. It's a $350,000 home, amen? Hallelujah. Amen. And you know what happened? Our offerings went up. Started giving more. Amen. I tell you, the book's true. Amen. If he says he'll bring you in a wealthy place, you can have money. I spend more money on the weekend than, I, than most people even make. Hey, man. Amen. You know why? Stuck it out. Amen. Took me forever. Right. Dan, it, it, it took a while. Hey, man, how long have we been in that house now? So I was in my 50s before I finally hit the wealthy place. You know why God can't trust you? You can't even tithe. You can't even get the missions. Amen. If he can't trust you, if you made 500 and he can't even trust you with 50 bucks, hallelujah, how do you expect God to trust you with some big money? Amen. You don't like that either. I can already tell, hallelujah, my time right. is slipping away. Amen. And they won't let me preach long anymore. They're holding in the reins. Amen. So you know what he said? I'm going to go to the house. Whose house? God's house. I will go into thy house with burnt offerings. I will pay thee my vows. With my lips have uttered and my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer unto thee burnt offerings and sacrifices of fatlings. And with the incense of rams, I will offer bullocks with goats. Selah. You know what David said? I'm going to church. Yeah. I'm going to give an offering. I'm going to give an offering. Brother Jack taught us that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Go to the church. Amen. Start an offering. Amen. My daughter told me, she said, she said, Daddy, next time I, we have a meeting, she says, I want to give the first thousand. She said, that's my goal. To be like you. Be able to give. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what it's all about, ain't it? Amen. I've seen Mitch do it. I've seen Mitch give. Yeah. Amen. You know what you learn? You learn, to, you learn to give your time, your talent, your treasure, and you put others first. God, the church, your mate, because she ain't never going to leave you, amen. Uh, the kids, the grandkids, your little doggy, and then you, your last. I'm going to shoot the cat. Amen. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know what you do? You put yourself last. The problem with most marriages is they're all selfish. Everybody's selfish. My wants first. So you spend $7 on your credit card, and it costs you $21 by the time you finish paying interest on it. And so you spend all the money, but you can't afford to take your wife out on the weekend because you done spent $200 for that month going out to eat at McDonald's with the boys. And, of course, you had to pick up the tab. Amen. Amen. And your poor little wife sitting there going, you know, I want to get my nails done and my... You know, get a, get my hair dyed. I don't know what it is with women and their hair dyed. Amen. 
And it's never cheap, amen. It's always $150. Hallelujah, amen. What? $150? I'm in the wrong business, amen. I need to start coloring women's hair, amen, for $150. Bucks? I, I charge you $125. Hallelujah, amen. I can make some money. Nobody wants Loopy's uh, salon. I can already see that. Amen. <laughs> you want to be a selfish brat? Go ahead. You know what David said? Not me. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to offer into. I'm going to put my offering to the church. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure, amen, church gets its offering first. If I pledge it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, amen. If I gave, if I said I was going to give the missions, I'm going to give the missions. If I said I was going to tithe, amen, I'm going to tithe. Hallelujah. If I said I was going to double tithe, triple tithe, four tithe, five tithe. I done scared some of y'all already. Look like y'all going to fall, fall, fall down. Amen. I can't believe it. He just said that. God's got to tell you. He said a tithe is 10%. He said, I'm going to do it. He could do all these offerings. You say, why? He wants to prove to God, I love you. Amen. Amen. I told my son, I'm not going to be like my daddy. My daddy wouldn't let me pick my first car. I said, here's your budget. You pick whatever car you want. I thought he was going to get a pickup. He, 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 you know, he, he did the bait and switch move, amen. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm going to get a pickup, all right, you know. You're going to get a pickup, and then by the time I knew it, it was a Dodge Magnum with a Hemi engine, amen. I mean, it, it, it did the bait and switch. But you know what I said? I'm not going to be like my dad. I'm going to let him have whatever he wants. If I can afford it, I paid cash. You know how you gotta you gotta save it to be able to pay for it like that. How about that? Amen. You can get a pretty good car for about five, six thousand dollars, amen. But you actually gotta save the money. You can't blow it. I told Susie, I said. Now, if you'll just save a little money for the next two years, you can have you a nice car and pay cash. Amen. Yes. Never have payments anymore. Right. David come in there. He said, oh, man, God's been good to me. He's been good to me. He done put me through the, through, uh, through the, uh, the trials. He done put me in the net. He done gave me afflictions. He put me in the fire. He, threw, he put me through the water. And then he brought me to a wealthy place. He went from the cave and hiding from Saul to the king's palace. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, I got everything I want. Amen. I mean, I got a pool sitting out there and I can't even use it. You say, why? I'm busy. I'm constantly running around, working, doing something, amen? I'm constantly hopping on a plane, going somewhere. Well, that's all right. There's once in a while I can get in there. Hell, amen. Every once in a while I'll play a game. You know when I play a game of billiards, Brother Mike? When somebody shows up, one of the, one of the brethren, one of the men come over. Other than that, it just sits there. Kids might play on it. But it's there. It's beautiful, too. Susie pointed it out. It was at a garage sale. Eight foot. That sucker was heavy. They had to take it apart. And the guy had to take it upstairs and then put it back together. I said, well, how much for another felt? He said, well, you're a Mexican, so really, he says, it's got a few stains on it. 
He said, but this thing's good for another three, four years easy. He said, I wouldn't even change it. I said, well, that's fine with me. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't have to have perfection because it won't be long when the brethren put their cup there. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say amen. You're going to make a stain anyway. I have to unload my guns when the brethren come over. Amen. He found wealth. He paid his dues. Come in here, all ye that fear God, and I will declare what he has done for my soul. You know what he said? I want, you to, I want to give you my testimony. I went from living in a one-room shack, me and my wife, Dan. You wanted privacy? You went to the bathroom. Lived in a one-room shack. It was the bedroom, the kitchen, the dining hall, the living room, everything. One room for everybody. We slept there. We ate there. Hey, man, one room. Now I hear noises out of Susie's room. I think people are lost in it. Amen. I'm not really too sure. Help. Help. Too much junk. Amen. Help. Help. <laughs> Susie didn't even laugh about that one. Amen. <clears throat> He said, I want to tell you my story. What God's done for me. I cried with him. I cried unto him with my mouth, and he was exalted with my tongue. Here we go again. What did he do now? Now he's crying. He was singing. He was a shouting. He was a praising. He was a praying. He's a crying. He's exalting. Sound like you're supposed to do something, amen? Sound like, it, amen, you're supposed to be doing something. You want God to hear you, why don't you say amen once in a while? Amen, why don't you talk to the Lord once in a while? Tell him, hey man, Lord, I appreciate you trying me. I appreciate you putting me in the net. I appreciate you afflicting me. I hope I prove myself to you. Right. Amen. He told Michael, said, don't get old. Well, ain't, ain't no fun. Hallelujah. Amen. You wake up, body parts start hurting. That's it. It's going to hurt for the rest of your life. Hallelujah. Amen. I guess I got to live with that one. Yep. You're getting it a little bit. Amen. 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 You know what you do? Thank you, Lord. I appreciate that. Amen. Amen. Yep. Thank you. Tomorrow I go to physical therapy. You know what I get to do? I get to go to the torture house. Amen. The house of tor the house of terrors. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. They're gonna they're gonna move me around, strain me around, and I mean, uh, by the time they're finished with me, I'm going. Oh, my shoulders all swole up. I'm gonna take a pill and lay down. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Yeah, I can't just wait for tomorrow. Hallelujah. You know, it's fun. Fun getting old. It's fun. You young, you ought to enjoy it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said you ought to enjoy it. Amen. You get one life, Susie. You better enjoy it. You listening, Seth? Vatican, you listening up there? You got one life. You better enjoy it while you got time. Mitch, you understand that? Once you say, I do, you did. <laughs> Game over. <clears throat> you got to put more quarters in the game, eh, man. I can tell you that right now. <clears throat> if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. You know what David said? He said, if there's any iniquity in my heart, God ain't going to listen to me. Right. He's making a self pro amen. He he's proclaiming to everybody. Amen. Don't live in sin, because God ain't going to hear you. Right. Right. It'd be best, amen, to be silent and not shout. 
and just come down the altar and just, Lord, it's me, I've been sinning. If you're lost, you say, Lord, would you save me? If you're saved, you say, Lord, would you forgive me? Amen. 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 You'll get that a little bit. But verily God hath heard me. You know what David said? I'm clean. What about Bathsheba? What about Uriah? You know what he said? I'm clean. You won't. Amen. I tell you, uh, I heard Brother Father preach on this, and he said David proclaimed, amen, he was clean. He believed it. You know what we believe? Your past sins are forgiven. Your present sins are forgiven. Your future sins are forgiven. Amen. You know what David believed? My past sins are forgiven. My present sins are forgiven. My future sins are forgiven. I'm clean. Amen. You know who won't for, let you forget? Yeah, the devil, self, the brethren. Why don't you just forget it? Amen. Why don't you just shut up? You remember the time you did this? Oh, shut up. Amen. You ain't got nothing nice to say. Just shut up. Amen. You ain't the pastor. Hallelujah. My job. You ain't got nothing nice to say. Don't say nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. I ain't going to be bringing up nobody's past. I got a past of my own. Amen. You start bringing up the past somebody else, don't be surprised if it comes back on you, big boy. Amen. Amen. Come right back, hit you right in the face. Better leave the past in the past. David said, God's heard me. He is attended to the voice of my prayer. You know what he said? He, not only is he hearing me, he's taking care of business. He, he's actually answering my prayers. Amen. I told Brother Father one time, I said, I'm on a roll. Yes. He said, a roll? I said, yeah. I said, ask me anything. He said, just ask. I can get it through. He said, what? Are you just bragging? I said, no. I said, I'm on a roll. Just ask me. He said, well, we got an $18,000 sewer and the insurance won't pay and this... And the, and the company won't pay, and they want us to pay the 18000 I said, I can pray through. I said, Lord, this is my pastor right here. Would you prove that you answer prayer? Would you take care of this? I want to just thank you already for just taking care of it. Yeah. I just want to thank you already that you're going to take care of this problem, and I appreciate what you're going to do. He called me two weeks later. He said, you really are on a roll. He said, the insurance company's going to pay this much, the plumbing company's going to pay this much, and all we got to pay is $75. You know what the problem with you? You don't believe in your prayers. You don't believe God's even hearing you. No wonder your prayers ain't being answered. You ain't even got enough faith to believe in your own prayers. Why don't you believe in your own prayers? Amen. When you cry out to God... Help! You know what he'll do? He'll help you. I got one more verse. I'm going to be done. Come on, Michael. Get up here. Amen. Play with God. I, I'm glad he's here. Amen. Amen. I am so glad God's blessed us. Blessed be God, which has not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Now, you don't have to believe this, but I believe He's talking about after the fact, after he killed Uriah, after he married Bathsheba, after he did all them wrongs. He said, he ain't turned away my prayers. He ain't turned them away. You know what God wants to do? He wants to forgive you of your iniquity, your sin. He wants to give. You say, how do you know? How do you know God's a given God? Because He gave us His only begotten Son. If He 
is it willing to let his son die? You think he won't answer some little old prayer that you got? I mean, God answers all prayers. Yes, no, and wait. That's two out of three good on the good side. Amen. Some prayers, it may take all eternity. I'll wait. I'll wait. Amen. It means me and my family be all being back together and we're all lovey-dovey, amen, and it's got to be in heaven. That's fine. I'll wait. Amen. That's okay. I can wait. I ain't got much longer. Hallelujah. I'm getting older. That's all right. Lord's coming back. He's going to straighten it all out. God does. He still answers my prayers. Trust me. I ain't the perfect saint. Trust me. I'm not the perfect pastor. But I can tell you this. I believe. I believe I can get a hold of God. God will listen to me. I believe with all my heart. Do you believe believe he'll answer your prayers? Takes faith. Maybe you need to just come down here and say, Lord, I'm not too sure about all that faith business and you answering my prayers, but I'd like to have that kind of faith. You're in the net long enough and the affliction's long enough, you know what? You go through the silver, amen, and the trying's long enough, You'll eventually come to the point and say, you know what? He's going to answer my prayers. I may be dead and gone. It might take me being in my, in an in a, in a old box. My body laying there cold and dead. Well, my family... said he's going to take care of it. My soul stand. Father, help us.